Hey, it is Escape the Matrix here, and today I'm doing some trading analysis for my Forex trading. So, here we go, take number two. So, basically, uh, what we've taken last week is a Euro USD. Uh, it was a buy on the Euro USD. So, let's take a look at the indexes. So, the Euro um, was looking like it was going up. It's in a nice, it was a little bit of a uptrend, so probably going to head to that resistance zone. So that looks pretty good. Um, it's basically like a break and retest pattern because it broke this zone here and went up to there, retested it. Looks like it supports. And then I entered around here, which I mean, it kind of a little late. So, uh, luckily, it went back down though. And then you got the dollar index um, looking very bearish. So that was a pretty good indicator for entering a Euro USD buy. So this is where I entered. And yeah, this looks like a good uptrend potential. And so over a course of a couple days, we ended up hitting our take profit. And Unfortunately, I limited my take profit a bit uh, to a zone right here, which was potential for like an early resistance zone, where the trade actually ended up trending up to the previous high, which was, uh, it could have been some nice additional profits if I had set my take profit a little higher, but I did feel that the trade would like immediately bounce off this zone. And therefore, if I was not ready to exit, I would miss out on profits, which in turn, it actually occurred like that. So, if I had not been uh, active enough to see that the trade was up here and that it was hitting the resistance, I may have missed out and ended up right back here. And it's, um, overall, well, I don't really know where it's going right now, but it could still go back up. <coughs> so let's take a look at some potential trades so um, GUSD was the one that we were looking at last week to enter but we never actually did and that's mainly because the dollar index has been looking pretty bearish okay so the dollar index doesn't look very strong it looks like we might head down to the $100 zone and so that would not be good for a GUSD sell. So um, let's see. So the GPP, um, you see that this actually does look like it's hitting a good resistance zone. So if we can find another pair to match uh, for a buy, then this could be a good play. Let's see if we can find one. Okay, here we go, the JPY. Uh, looks like it's come down to a decent area where it could be reaching support pretty soon. So GJ, we might take a look at GJ. Uh, that's fine. Canadian dollar. So Chif, still not quite at the zone that we want for sales, but it's getting up there. Odd, uh, it's been ranging pretty tight uh, it's at a resistance though so it might actually come back down break this and the New Zealand dollar is probably gonna break out in the upwards direction but it's uh, still is pretty small ranging kind of movements um, so let's see so the GPY er, the GP the GBP Great British Pound, uh, we have a feeling it's going to go down maybe after it goes up a little bit. And so the JPY, we also feel like it's probably going to go up after it comes down a bit. So we can see that it will probably retest around this support or maybe even break it. But we'll see um, when it hits that support. So GJ, let's take a look at GJ. <coughs> So yeah, GJ would be a great sell if we can reach maybe, let's see, potentially this zone as a first uh, entry potential. And then we can even re-enter 
if the trade enters up to this zone here. So we'll want our stop past 169. Um, so we'll wait for the trade to come up to here. We'll add alerts around there so that we know the trade is up there. And so that would be pretty decent. So two potential bouncing zones here, which is pretty nice. Uh, that will be our trade for the week. Uh, yeah, we keep it nice and simple. We keep it uh, very limited, uh, but we only want to take the best setups here. And as far as trading the SPY, we'll be looking for uh, some potential sells, I think, at the open on Monday. Let's see here. We're hitting up decent resistance zone. Um, I think, though, we might have to see if it can come up further here. Um, probably 412 region has a decent chance of rejecting down. So, like, right here to there, all the way to there. Um, which could be a nice short movement. Uh, I've been trading some options on the SPY. So we'll see what happens. We'll have to take a look at the market uh, at open. And obviously it's very volatile trading on the one minute charts on the SPY. So hopefully I'll be able to do some live streams of that. And uh, catch you guys next time. Um, hopefully this analysis can help you guys take some good trades. And uh, join my group. So I'll see you guys.